guys? What is up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. A couple of weeks ago, we did a review on a fragrance from the house of Sinfonia uh, di Note, uh, Dea Bianca. And I told you guys in a couple weeks I would be doing a review from another house that I was sent uh, with that bottle. Again, I want to really send a huge shout out to Alessandro. Alessandro at Gita. Uh, he also sent me this guy, Vanilla del Madagascar from Pharmacia SS Annunziata. This is a house I have been super interested in. Before we talk about this vanilla scent, let me give you some background information on this house. This is a really old Italian perfume house and rivals a uh, place like Santa Maria Novella in terms of age, history, and heritage. Uh, this is a cosmetic and fragrance company that goes back to 1561 as an apoth apothecary. Uh, they started making hygienic and skin products in a building that actually dated back to 1400 in Florence. Today, the house has been modernized, but they still make their cosmetic products as well as fragrances. They have about 25, 26 fragrances in their catalog. Uh, the revival really occurred in 2011 and again you have Luca Maffei as one of the main noses behind this brand you know we talked about him quite a bit in the video uh, for Dea Bianca his history um, as, a, as a perfumer really an Italian niche superstar but he's also done fragrances for uh, houses that aren't uh, Italian like Paris Monte Carlo um, so there are quite a few points of sale for Pharmacia, uh, including Lucky Scent, and such since Lucky Scent uh, sent me this tester through Alessandro. I'll link to Lucky Scent in the description and the website for Pharmacia, SS Musiata, so you guys can check both of them out. The notes on this one are going to be lemon, florals, amber, Madagascar vanilla. So just super simple, 100 ml retails for $150. And as far as your presentation, it's a silver bottle. You do have some notes listed on the back. It also includes um, tangerine, lemon. You also have some strawberry vanilla and wood. So those are your official um, notes. The notes I gave you were the um, Fragrantica notes and a really cool bottle. You have Friends Day Italy here as again you have the notes. You have since 1561. Um, this is a parfum. Nice cap and the sprayer is really nice. So. Um, really just just nice presentation heavy bottle um, it's metal it just looks sort of old school and cool I, I definitely dig it as far as your fragrance goes this is a really 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 good vanilla fragrance it really starts off with a mix of citrus so you're gonna get lemon you're gonna get a li little bit of tangerine but I mainly get lemon I, I really don't get the, the the tangerine slight slight like orangey note it doesn't distinguish itself as tangerine to me the lemon is definitely there it's not like a pine soul antiseptic lemon it's more of a sort of creamy bright lemon and then you're going to get a little bit of light white florals and a mix of really high quality vanilla bean with some amber underneath it to me the strawberry it doesn't really stick out here as well. It's really about some light florals, a nice creamy lemon, and some vanilla. That's what this fragrance is to me. It's not boozy at all, but it's very sweet. It sort of, to me, smells like cotton candy. If that cotton candy was made with a little bit of lemon and scented with like really rich vanilla bean. It's very sweet. Um, it's very natural, to be quite honest, but it's very uncomplicated. It's a simple fragrance um, and so if you're looking for nuance you're, you're probably gonna miss that here you know this is sweetened vanilla bean for the most part unadulterated a little bit of citrus touch of resins at the base and florals but again mainly sweet vanilla bean it starts off that way and it uh, and it ends that way it really it really kind of mind reminds me of like a really high quality bowl of lemon ice cream or gelato, you know, like really artisanal um, laboratorial del gelato, vanilla gelato. Like that's what it smells like to me, maybe with a, a little bit of lemon and, and, and some florals. That's, I think, the best way to describe this. It's a great performer. 
um, it lasts and boy does it project well at last it is parfum and though it doesn't evolve big time on the skin as I said it lasts for hours and projects for most of that time uh, and for a vanilla scent that really isn't carried by booziness, it performs beautifully, it smells natural. I don't know that there were a ton of fixatives, fixatives used in this one because again, it, it really just does smell like vanilla bean. Uh, it's a totally unisex perfume that is gonna do best work for uh, anyone who wears it in the fall and winter time. I'd say it's a casual fragrance, but you can definitely pull this off on cooler spring days or spring nights as well. Um, if you're looking for something similar, you can't get your hands on this, you know, maybe you, you don't, can't pay $150. Um, you know, this can really hang with the good vanilla fragrances out there. You know, my favorite vanilla scents are probably Corgan uh, by Lumen and Memoirs of a Trespasser uh, by Imaginary Authors. And this one price-wise falls in the middle. Uh, Corrigan's a little pricier and Memoirs of a Trespasser's a little bit less expensive. Both are much boozier. This sort of reminds me a lot of a Serge Luton scent called Un Bois Veni, uh, but that one is a little bit boozy as well. So um, those are sort of vanilla scents. I like just kind of put in its realm. Um, there's no relation between this and something like Spiritus Duble Vigny, which is just a very boozy, uh, toasty sort of vanilla scent. This is this is way uh, lighter and sheerer. If someone were trying to talk you into purchasing this fragrance, I think they would tell you that you're getting a gorgeous, unadulterated vanilla. You're getting a 100 ml of parfum that performs extremely well for $150, and you're getting very good Italian craftsmanship. I think if someone were trying to get you to skip this one, they were trying to talk you out of it, I think they'd say that there's not a lot of nuance or progression within this fragrance, and maybe if you're paying $150, you want some of that uh, for that price point, and, and maybe you know someone would, would want more, uh, more layers to their fragrance. I obviously do not rate scents that I am sent. Uh, but I really enjoy this one. I will wear this one. You'll definitely see this in an upcoming starting lineup video. Uh, I enjoy this sort of pure vanilla and it makes me really want to explore Pharmacia SS and Uziata and see what else they're doing because the quality here is just beautiful. Uh, I want to really send a huge shout out to Alessandro uh, at Gita for sending these to me. I really enjoy vanilla and being able to check out a vanilla scent of this quality is something that I feel very blessed. Uh, to do so thank you so much guys i hope you have enjoyed this video let me know if you've tried this fragrance or you've tried anything else from pharmacia ss nunziata and i'll see you guys late, next week uh actually with more videos guys you already know what it is my name is maximilian and i must know how you been how's my little man how's he doing and uh did you get the practice that i sent i hope that he knows that there's someone